another day, another story. I returned all of my Christmas gifts because I'm sick of getting meaningless items. Having nothing to give her family when they arrived at her door bearing gifts, the woman shared on Reddit how she returned all the Christmas items she had purchased for them in order to spend the money on herself. Show us some love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. A lady who decided to return the thoughtless gifts she got, which was purchased by her family in order to spend the money on herself, has come under fire. She described how, although her family had left gifts for her at her door on Christmas morning, she had nothing to give them in return. The woman who takes great delight in her gift giving claims that when her family and friends don't already have a gift in mind, she showers them with personalized items. But despite exerting maximum effort, she consistently only gets a body wash or generic candle in return. The woman posted on Reddit and stated, I pay attention to them and use their interests and pastimes to make sure that their gifts are well received. One of my favorite things to observe is the rush of joy people experience when they open their gift. They were speechless. When the time comes for me to open presents, I find a generic pair of headphones that are far worse than the ones I already possess and comes in colors I detest. It's a face wash and candle set that I can never use due to allergies and sensitive skin, as well as a mug with an odd meme on it that serves no purpose for our internal joke. The woman acknowledges keeping her undesired gifts in her home's cabinets for years before giving them to a good cause or dumping them away. She submitted a list of her Christmas wish list to her friends and family in an effort to increase the number of gifts she received but many people ignored it. We all sent out lists once again a few weeks ago, and my husband stated he was eager to wrap my gifts because he had already finished his shopping. I hoped that this time, he would choose anything from my list, she added. I discovered a hoard of candy, a pair of cheap slippers with a design I'd never wear, a makeup travel bag with a tacky slogan slay all day on it. I detest quotes on anything and it's well known and a pair of gloves when cleaning up before Christmas. I was simply deflated. I experienced an inward spiral. I understood that I would never experience the delight of opening a present and being astounded by its thoughtfulness. I gave in. Since I didn't have the funds and wanted to be fair, I informed everyone that I wouldn't be giving out gifts this year, asked them to return anything they had given me, I don't have the money to spend £1,000 on individualized presents for everyone simply to feel let down, the speaker said. The woman immediately canceled all of her orders, gave back everything she had purchased as gifts, and used the money to purchase everything on her personal wish list. With a tag that read, to me, from me, I wrapped them and placed them under the Christmas tree. My friends are disappointed, and my husband is hurt. My relatives have criticized me for being spoilt, entitled, and whiny. I finally get what I want this year and moving forward into the future. This might even become my tradition forever. While the majority of people agreed with her decision to return her family's gifts in order to use the money for herself, others argued that she ruined the holiday by doing so. Someone stated, I fully comprehend. Due to the fact that Sudoku is one of my favorite games, my mother always gives me a Sudoku book for Christmas and my birthday. She is aware of my preferences. I have a shower curtain and bath rug that my partner bought me. I was a little let down. It only needs to be thoughtful. It doesn't need to be extravagant or insane. Added by another user, maybe this is all your fault. They don't seem to know what to get to you, and perhaps the items on your list were either too pricey or too difficult to locate. You've ruined Christmas completely. Spending time with your family is what the holiday is all about, not whether they buy you things or not. Yes, what matters most is the thought. But initially, they didn't think as much. If you don't like the gift, they tried their best, but they had no control over it. One more person stated, even if many of my friends can't be bothered to buy me things in return, I understand how you feel. When you put up such a high degree of effort and it is not all reciprocated, it weighs on you. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.